Today we are showing you how to roast a rack of lamb. This is one of my favorite meals to make for my clients, for myself. It's super easy mm -hmm. and coming from a family that loves lamb. We love lamb and it took a long time to get the kids to like it. So, you know, when you're trying new things with your family, don't give up. You know, if it's something that you love and we don't eat it that often, but when we do for special occasions, it's wonderful. And this dish is so great for the holidays. It's super quick. You just throw it into the oven and really all you need is a rack of lamb. So, and this Megan, this is a, a grass fed organic, yes. grass fed New Zealand like rack of lamb because because that's better for our bodies and our planet and so what I ask the butcher to do is French it so that means taking off all of this fat from the bone of this is a rib yeah those are the ribs these are the loin ribs. chops is what they are yes and so rib then chops. what I do to start is just take some olive oil and drizzle it over and you want to do the olive oil first before you season it with salt and pepper like you guys seriously this is it. And if you want to do more, you can add some rosemary. It's really lovely on this. Mm. There's tons of other options. Lots of sprinkle some salt. Lots of herbs and spices. Yeah, you can play around with what your family likes, oregano, or you could do like if you do the simple thing like this, you can put a chimichurri sauce on that, which we actually have a recipe on our website. Oh yeah. Um, and this is it. It's just you want to do nice, hefty amount of pepper and salt, and we are going to put that side up so curving down mm -hmm. in our Pyrex dish with a little parchment paper parchment paper so it doesn't stick easy cleanup we're all about that yeah and so our oven has been preheating to 425 degrees and you're gonna cook it for a medium rare temperature at for 25 minutes and, and it depends on the thickness too yeah so, so this one's a little thinner so I probably we could check it after 20 minutes yeah Oh man, Meg, that looks fabulous. So beautiful, so you guys can see. This, we just pulled out, it's been cooking for 25 minutes, mm -hmm. and so now what you're gonna do is cover it. All right. Yes, but be careful. really careful. Yes, you're gonna cover it for 10 minutes and let it rest, and this is gonna give it like perfect. And the reason why, the reason why you wanna let it rest, Meg, is for everyone is that all the juices after it's been cooking they just stay inside well and it's still cooking so and we're covering it we're letting it all steam and just kind of all the moisture stick in there yeah yeah <laughs> look at this so beautiful and let's see how it came out oh wow look at that Beautiful, beautiful color. If you prefer it to be like really, really rare, then you just take it out like five minutes sooner. Yeah, or pink. Yeah. But this rib, I'm going to dig into. Yes. <laughs> We're a finger family here, so this so, is delicious. Yes. For this whole recipe, you can see how easy it is. You can go to curryGirlsKitchen.com. Mm. And if you don't follow mm. us, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, where we're constantly posting more fun recipes like this one for the holidays. And if you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe because we're mm. posting every Wednesday new fun videos for you just like this one. This is so moist <laughs> and delicious. <laughs> it's so juicy. 